playing the game called Guess Who Jeff the Joint Sister Could Be. Which one? Come on! I figure it out, motherfuckers! Let's play Jeff the Drunk Game. Are we bringing Jeff in for this? Yes. Will he ruin it? Will he give away the answer? I, I, it's up to you. I mean. All right, bring him in. Let's see how Does he know how the game is played? I don't know. You know, Howard, I do think I have to take myself out of this, unfortunately. You've seen the sister and you know her. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Wait, Jeff looks more disturbing than ever. Oh, man. Do you think he could use a makeover? <laughs> There's no makeover on this planet that's going to help him. Your hair's grayer. What happened? Yeah, hey, would you see a ghost? Stop dying it. <laughs> yeah. He's my age, you know. That no. Makes, I swear to you, we're the same exact age. Jeff, how old are, how old are you? 38. 38? Well, I'm, oh, my God. 38. I'm 37. I'll be 38 in October. I would have thought you were like 64. No, I really, Howard, I really had him at middle to late 40s. Late 40s. You thought he was younger than me? No, but well, you look younger than your age. I thought Jeff was maybe close to 50. You're under 40? I just said 38. Wow. You just turned 38, too, right? Not Dude. even. I'm 37 no, you're at th the moment. That's what I'm saying. You're 37. You're you same age as me. Horrible. I'm going to be 38 May 2nd. You look horrible. Nice. You look horrible. Thank you. No, you really do. Thank you. No, Jeff, you should see a doctor. Oh, stop. 37? <laughs> I'm a young man. <laughs> Only in years. <laughs> I'm a young man. Are you sure you're 37? What year were you born? 1967. Seven. Five, Why did you two, help Artie feels bad for me. Helps him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I just, I mean, I'm always fat. No, I mean, he he's, knows. I feel. Do you feel... think it's the abuse that made him look this old? Maybe. Or do you think it's genetic? It's. <laughs> <laughs> the abuse. The abuse. <laughs> I mean, Howard, look at how I abuse myself. Yeah, but he's like drinking oh, now. Oh, yeah, you, you're you much better than Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff. Thank you. That's all I need. <laughs> Jeff has a hand that doesn't work. He's overweight. He's got gray hair. He's got a pack of cigarettes in his upper T-shirt pocket. But I'm still a good-looking guy. And he's guzzling a beer at 8 o'clock in the morning, New York time. But he's got I'm reds. a good-looking guy. Come on. He still smokes reds. Marlboro Reds. <laughs> Well, because he's the Marlboro man. One hundred, buddy. Oh man! I, I guarantee you he doesn't live past forty. Oh, I guarantee you. Want to bet it. on that? Okay. How much? I don't know. Well, bet whatever you're worth when you're forty. <laughs> whatever you're worth. <laughs> yeah, we'll double that it. Only, that will only be a grand. There's nothing on you that looks thirty-seven years old. There's no Howard. There's no way he makes it to the end of your deal. At, eh, eh. The only right. thing that looks thirty-seven are your shorts. <laughs> so should we be putting together his uh, obit now? Yeah, his tribute. I, Jeff Curl, of sound mind and body knowledge. Let's have Jeff record a message. Right. No. Come on. Doesn't like Gil, like Gil Brenner? Yeah. Please. All right, record your message. Tell kids not to drink and do drugs <laughs> and smoke. Please, whatever you do in life, don't follow my path. Please. Why not? Don't do it. It's not worth it. All right, I just want to play the game and get him out of here. Yes. All right, here we go. Jeff the Drunk Caro. Okay. You have a sister. What is your... Well, don't even tell us anything about it. I ain't her. saying nothing. All right, and don't give off who it is. I or else you're going to ruin the game. I ain't going to say a word, dude. All right, who's going to play? Robin? Yes. Artie? Howard? You can't play. I met her, right, Jeff? In yeah, Albany? You met yeah, her. yeah, okay. All right, Artie met her. Uh, Baba? I'd like to play. All right, and Fred, you want to play? Yes, sir. All right, no Benji, right? No Benji. We all agree to that. Okay. <laughs> we all agree. Solemn salute. <laughs> All right, Salute. here we go. How do you want to play the game? Each person is is the person is each sister going to come in and make a comment? We thought we were going to bring all three in at once. Okay. Uh, sort, of, sort of like to tell the truth, but however you want to play, you want to bring them one at a time. It's up to you. No, bring all three in, but yeah. are they each going to make a statement, or are we just going to ask questions? I think we're just going to ask questions. All right, very good. Let's bring in. All right, don't be I'm annoying Jeff during the it. Junk. Sister Tracy. One of these girls is Tracy. Jeff the Drunk's sister. We don't know which uh, one. That's funny. All three women look like nice ladies. All three of them look like they could potentially yeah. be Jeff Curro's sister. I, I buy into the fact that one of them is Jeff's sister. Yeah. It is your full-blooded sister, right? In other words... Negatory. Oh. Negatory. Same mother. Same mother, different father. All right, that's good to know. And I look like my father. Uh -oh. And I bet he looks great. <laughs> All right, He's number one, man, you I'm claim to be Tracy. 
Yeah. I don't claim to be Tracy. I am Tracy. Why do you seem angry to me? Well, I just don't appreciate what you guys have done to my brother. What have we done? I think he's pretty much done it to himself. What do we have to do with it? You just continuously just make him look like an idiot. You know, I'm listening to you in the hall saying, you know, he's going to be dead by 40. Come on. I'm trying about my brother. But I'm trying to help him. We're if he does shock him into reality. You guys are letting him smoke, drink, and do drugs. I'm telling him he looks horrible. You know, I'm going to tell you something, if you are the real Tracy. I'm going to tell you something. My parents pulled me into a room when I was overweight and said to me, you're going to die. You better go see a doctor. You look horrible. And it was the greatest thing they ever did to me. And if you keep enabling him. I'm not enabling him. You're enabling him. How you am I? Just... Because you make him look like a stupid moron, he is, drunken he, idiot. He is who not. he is. He's a sweet, gentle who drinks. <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. Can I say something? So Jeff comes up here like once a month. So the other thirty days of the month, when he's out at the bar every night, smoking he's like a fiend, drinking like crazy, he's not. As goes a to the bar of every fact, night. It's like a big act, and I know he's going to get mad. Act. Oh, he's like Dean Martin. He's, then. he's Jeff Bramble. Really he me last night and said, "Do not say that I don't drink every day because they're going to get mad at me." Jeff, look at me. Jeff, just stop it. <laughs> All right, so well, far you're very convincing. Act like a brother. Number one, I love my brother. Okay, Tracy. And I don't appreciate that you guys don't help him. Why don't you like we work him money. a new job or something? We, we give him money and then he spends it on. All right, wait a second though. This is Tracy number one. Okay. This could be a great act right now. This might not be the real Tracy. Right. Let's remember that. Let's not get fooled yet. All right. Number two, you Trey, you claim to be Jeff's sister. I am Jeff's sister. And Are then you we upset? Here this morning we had some beers. We smoked. You know, he's so my you brother. Get into I, it. I get into it. You know, he's my brother. He is who he is. I'm not going to change him. So you're different than number one. You're saying of I am. you're saying that you not that you approve of your he's brother's my brother. lifestyle. I love him. I'm not going to change him. He is who he is. So we had a couple beers on the way down. We smoked a little. Whatever makes him happy. Number one, you're uh, shaking your head. Why are you shaking your head? Because I was with him and we didn't do that. But you she know, claims. You don't understand what his accident did to him. This is like the best thing that ever happened to him. The accident is the best thing that no, ever happened. No, being here, he thinks you guys are the greatest. You know, he just wants to please you and be what you want him to be. I can't don't tell, tell him what to be. That? No. You're supposed to be so smart. H- uh, honey, I'm not smart at all. But I'll tell you one thing: you're not acting smart. You've got a brother who behaves the way he does. He is who he is. Well, he, he is who he is. Look, you know what? He doesn't listen to me. He, he listened to you. Guys. Listen to I told him, you look horrible. Stop drinking, How stop many times smoking. Have we told Jeff to Slow stop down. smoking, get a job. You're amazing. You're one of those if you really are his sister, we don't know yet. But if you are, you're one of those people who blames the world for his, he's got to take responsibility for himself. Yeah, She's a, he she, does it. He's the one don't. drinking, smoking. Hey. If you were in a car accident, yeah. were, do you realize that he couldn't walk for two years after the accident? We didn't think he'd ever walk again. He, he what, was, you know, but he that, does what walk. What would that do to your self-esteem if you couldn't use your arm? It would, do, it, it would, it would make me miserable. Would, yeah. But I wouldn't and drink and smoke. Howard Stern says, oh, be on my show. Be a big star. Now he thinks he's a big star. Well, that's his problem. I don't think he's a big star. Uh, you know what? We're getting caught up. We still haven't determined if she's Me his either. sister. You're not letting anyone else talk. <laughs> you're being very selfish in this game. She's, yeah. You're, she's not you're well. asking me questions. Uh, that's true. She's, yes. Well, she, no. We had gone on to another person. You butted into her conversation. I don't think so, Robin. <laughs> no. All right. She, number two. Tracy wouldn't be rude. But again, as always. All right. Number two. <laughs> number three. You want to say something. Tracy wouldn't be rude like that. No. No, I wouldn't. I don't believe... I'm not convinced that that is Jeff Caro's sister. I wouldn't be that rude and interrupt when someone was talking. I didn't interrupt. Number three, tell me your story. Are you Jeff Caro's sister? Yes, I am. And do you drink with him? Sometimes. Sometimes you do. You, and you yeah. visit him in the trailer with his oh, mom? Oh, yeah. I bring, yeah. I bring the boys over and he sees, they see their uncle. There you go. Oh, he's talked about the, the nephews. Right. Alex and Noah. I see. Yeah, and my fiance, Keith. All right. And you love your brother very much. And We're close. Uh, what, with, with number one is saying is you're saying that that is just an elaborate act. What she's saying. Oh yeah. That she is not the real Jeff's sister. No. No way. No, you can feel for him like that. Right. You care about him too. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> I have my own life, and I know he does what he does. Right. But it doesn't bother you. Sometimes. I mean, some of what number Have one you ever is saying. Tried to get him cleaned up. Some of what number one's saying is very true. Have you ever tried to clean up your brother? 
That's impossible. You can't do it. You've tried. He's a big boy. <laughs> no, I, needs, I don't have that much time. He, <laughs> number one, you say he needs help. He needs therapy. Yes. Number you know, two. Yeah. Number two, do you agree that he needs therapy and help? He needs therapy, but he's going to do it himself. So I no, love my not. brother, and, you know, hey, he is who he is, and I love him. Thanks love a you, lot, brother. Sis. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. All right. Oh, I've right. heard enough. Now I'm going to yes. take a vote now. I know who it is. Yeah. Right, I think I know who the real sister is. All right. Do you want me to go first? Go ahead. All right. Without a doubt, I'm going to bet that it's number one. Oh. Oh, you're out of your you're mind. Out of your mind. You don't think it is? No, I no. know. Robin and I are probably on the same page. It's number three. Absolutely. Yeah. Why do you say number three? Well, first of all, she sounds like him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Accent and the, and even the tone of the raspy, too many cigarettes voice. Yeah. Bull crap. Shut and up. she knew the nerves. nephews' names <laughs> and all that. Well, I, I forget I'm about that. Names. names. It would sound about right, although number one is sort of annoying and not well thought out like Jeff. I don't know. I, I like number one. I'm saying that's the sister. <laughs> well, you wish that was the sister. <laughs> I'm the <a> sister, Howard. <laughs> but you I, are the sister. Now, look, wait a second. Number one, let's continue the game here. Yeah. Let me think about right. this for a second. I just love the way number three has number three has a sort of cavalier attitude about like you know what are you gonna do like <laughs> that's Jeff. Number yeah. three, d describe the trailer that Jeff lives in, please. It's blue, and his bedroom's on this end, and my mother's just on that end. Mm -hmm. Where's and you walk into the living room. Where's the transmission? Um, <laughs> that's in the, in the back, bathroom. Bitch. Number two, number two, w describe the trailer that Jeff lives in. Trailer's blue. Yeah. It's got three steps up in the front. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeff's it's bedroom's on one <laughs> side. Mom's bedroom's on the other. Right. Kitchen's kind of small. Mm -hmm. It's in the middle of nowhere. Burn, New York. Do you know what Jeff used to do for a living? No. You don't. Number one, what did he do for a living? Stamped hands at pools. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> number three, did you know that? Yeah. You did. She's yeah. his friend. See, now, number three just looked surprised when you said that. <laughs> so now we can did. eliminate. I didn't see that facial We can question. eliminate number two because number two would doesn't know. Doesn't know anything. <laughs> yeah, she oh, doesn't know anything. I don't know. Would you keep up with Jeff that much? <laughs> Possibly not. I, I mean, not that was a big He hasn't worked since he was 18, so I really wouldn't consider that that he had done anything. Oh, I see. All right, all right. That's legitimate. You're saying stamping hands is barely a job. No, that's not a job. That's oh. just something to keep him busy once in a while. Right, the correct mm -hmm. answer is nothing. Right. When was exactly. the last time Jeff had a car? God, but when he was at, had his accident, uh, or his DWIs also. Right. He had a car then, mm -hmm. six years ago. Number one, when is the last time you saw Jeff drive? A year ago. You did he, see him? Yes, he's he he has driven, even though he wasn't supposed to. Number three, do you agree with that or disagree? I disagree. What do you say? Uh, when I seen him drive? Yeah. yeah. Uh, about a year and a half ago. Right. Right before the cornfield or whatever. Right, 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 yeah. That yeah. incident. I see. I know what it is, too. Oops. I know why I'm going number three. She, she not only sounds like him, it has an accent, she has his grammar. Yeah. yeah. That's three. I'm still going with number one. <laughs> is that right? She's got ready? me convinced. Are we ready to end the game? Some people have gone to school, you know. What is that, number one? I happen to. What are the odds that you, you went and Jeff didn't? <laughs> Jeff went to school. No, Jeff had a different I father. I graduated. We have two different, our fathers are different. Right, okay, that's true. But, yeah, but you grew up together. Yes. I hope it's number one. I would really like a loudmouth to I know, be I his know, sister. But, but it's not her. But you don't is, think so? No. She is sort of loud, like Jeff is loud. Yeah, I think it's number one. I think you guys are going to be shocked. I think you're going to be shocked because it's number three. No, you're kidding. Yeah. I always fall for the wrong one. <laughs> it's not with the right. I, I don't know. Can I can I just make a suggestion? Yes. Like if you guys, the thing Jeff really wants is to open an animal sanctuary. <laughs> oh, <laughs> here. Now he just took it too far. Stop <laughs> with the BS, bitch. <laughs> he is not opening any it's animal sanctuary. Great. All right. I'm s uh, all right. Well, I guess you guys have convinced me it's number three. <laughs> I still problem. like number one the best. I do. Well, all right. So, Robin, like you that. say it's number three. Yes. Gary says number three. I, of course, think it's number one. Fred, I guess you number think. Number one cares too much. <laughs> 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 this would have killed her already. All right. Well, uh, will the real Jeff. <laughs> will the, the real. Jeff Tracy, step forward. Look, number one up and three, step forward. <laughs> All right, it's number three, I guess. Yeah. Is it number three? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Number one, I like you the best. <laughs> yes, it is. I think he she needs a good. sister like you. She did Me real good. too. <laughs> yeah, they all had a nice she set of good. knowledge. I bought it.
Nah, nah. I, you know what? It really turned it for me. What? I recognize number one. Oh, well, you didn't say that. <laughs> what do you mean? I wasn't absolutely she, sure. She's she, been in there. she was in such a disguise the last time we saw her. Oh, that was my real luck, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is a disguise. When were you on the first time? Yeah, you time? know what, Howard? I recognize number one, too. Oh, you see? <laughs> that, well, but you I didn't know whether it was two or three. Hey, I oh, recognize you know, number Please three. Step back. No, number one was the, uh, was the uh, crack whore. You were great the at that. The Harry yeah. Crack Whore. Crack Whore! Yeah. You're a good actor. Hey! You're a really good actress. To the Jeez. Crack Whore! Hold on, Jeff. Jeff, I you're a really good actress, and, and a lot of your advice for Jeff is very, very good. Yes, it is. absolutely. <laughs> I agree. But, but Fre Fred was right. She, I agree. She yeah. cared too much. She cared too much. She was well, too much. Why can have a sister in? that cares? No, no, but I, I mean, care about my brother. I mean, at this point, when you got a brother like this that's 38 years old, you sort of... You'd have been used right. to it yeah. by now. Right, right. I think number three is numb to it at this right. point. Right. One she had the right attitude. <laughs> one number, one, number one, give your, give your uh, name, and you did such a fine job. What is your name? Angela Muto. Yes, and you're an actress, right? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I'm going. Hey, do you audition a lot? No. No, Nobody no. wants me. Nobody wants you. What are you talking me? about? I wanted you twice. <laughs> you're an out-of-work actress? Yes. I wanted you I twice this morning. Work. What? I've never had any work. This is my really? second job. My well, first time was on your show. You're show. terrific. I, I think you're very great. good. You're very, very good at it. Somebody ought to hire you. Number Somebody two. Should. What do you really do? I work for a website, BeaverStateUniversity.com. Beaver, Beaver State? Beaver. Is that a Whoa. porn site? No, it's not a porn site. What is it? We Show your beaver, baby. Take it easy, website, Jeff. Uh, BeaverStateUniversity.com. Yeah. Um, actually, I brought a T-shirt for you and some thongs for Beth. Oh, thank you. There you go. That's very nice of you. Now, number three, you are really Jeff's sister. Really? Has it been a tough situation? Is Jeff the embarrassment of the family? Well, he don't embarrass me, just himself, I would say. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Tell us I a little bit. I work for New York State Crime Victims. Yes. Well, that's a very good job. Yes. And you help people, and you're... Hi, boss. Thanks. Yeah. You're, <laughs> your boss gave you the day off. You're almost... She's great. You're the opposite of Jeff, really. I mean, you're hardworking and hard responsible. You married woman? No, I'm engaged. You're engaged. To Keith. I forgot to say hi to my son, Brandon. And you have a nice He's son, playing. and you have a life, and a job, and Three all boys. this. And and how does the family view this near duel? We just live our lives and <laughs> but, let him live his. But when, when so like when Thanksgiving rolls around, it's just a given that Jeff's going to get hammered, right? Yeah, some, and does, and sometimes. Does, and does anybody ever say, you know, oh, like does mom ever say, just you know, put the beer away so he can't find any more? <laughs> yeah, figure, don't go get him more. Oh right, don't go get him more. And then he cries, and and I go get him more. Oh. Oh, he cries. Well, not cries, whine. Wait, Come on, get me more beer. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm a good guy. It's just a blister. Do you think maybe what number one said is true? The family is uh, they shouldn't give in to him when he asks for those beers. Oh, most of them don't. They don't. But we you. Do. We're close. Yeah. You give in and your mom gives in. Yep. Yeah. She loves him. <laughs> Always. He's a baby. He's How a many baby. of you are there? I have 10 brothers. He has seven. Wow. wow. And we have one sister. So d the fact that Jeff. I have two. The fact that Jeff lives with his mom has got to be an embarrassment to the family, right? No. No? No one cares? No, it's good for both of them. Everybody they else has moved other. out, though. Hey, I got a question, well, Howard. Is there anyone who's, I mean, is Jeff the most successful now because he's on the show? <laughs> no. No? Jeff claims he has a brother who's jealous of his lifestyle. Really? We won't go there. What do you mean? <laughs> right on by, I don't know who he's talking about, but don't even go there. Me neither. <laughs> We, All right, I shouldn't have brought it up. Hey, was Jeff a different <laughs> guy before? Not. Was Jeff a different guy before the accident? What, did he drink before the accident? Oh yeah, but he was very athletic. Yeah, now he's let himself go somewhat. Well, right? he had no choice. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he wished he could do all that still. Do you love, Jeff, do you love your sister? Yeah. Did oh, you do anything that. for her? Yeah. If she ever asked you to stop drinking, would you do it? No. You would not. He would do anything no, but that. I won't that. stop drinking. Yeah. You won't stop but. drinking either. Everyone's drinking. Everything but. Well, you got to work and. Then you get playtime. Number one, I still say you love Jeff the most, I think. <laughs> you do. You really I do. I say hi to my roadrunners. <laughs> Roadway roadrunners, my right. softball team. So what's the most embarrassing thing you ever saw Jeff do? <laughs> you don't have that much time. Come on, give me a story. Does he pass out like at dinner and stuff? Oh, how about when he got a shotgun, he was smoking a bong. Right. And uh -oh. a friend stopped by uh -oh. right after he's out of the hospital. Like, not right after, but. So he wanted a shotgun. <laughs> And they gave him one, he passed out, and the table went over and over. My mother screamed, Jeff, Jeff. 
Right, that it's much, okay. So he passes right out in front of the whole family. No, that was in his room. In his room. All right. Well, this that's is the time I fell asleep in the toaster. <laughs> Jeff, does any of that make you upset that this is your legacy? That this is not at all. Not at all. You like being the You're town. You're glad drunk. having all these stories to be yeah. told about. It's you. cool. It's cool. You feel Some your life is cool. I can tell my it gives a reason. It gives him a reason. What reason is something you can tell? What, Jeff? <laughs> Your kids. My nephews, or his nephews, my kids, and I'll slap them. Now, are the kids allowed to be around Uncle Jeff? Mm -hmm. They are. Does He's good when they're around. They play the Xbox. Yes, they do. Thank you. With Uncle Jeff? <laughs> my nephew rolls a tight joint. Oh, what's that? <laughs> do you explain to your kids that, they, I mean, they must smell Uncle Jeff as far as the alcohol. They must see him drink. They, they see a... Uh, we and, and all drink when we're together. Right, but Uncle Jeff drinks a lot more than you. Well, yeah. No. I get my share, but yeah. But do they ask, like, what's up with Uncle Jeff? How come Uncle Jeff doesn't work? <laughs> no, they're they not that old. They're only four and six. <laughs> Does Jeff curse around the kids? I mean, you got to get him to... Get on occasion. To, on occasion, We yeah. all have that problem mm -hmm. now and then. Do you let him babysit? No. No. I heard you that no, Jeff... No, babysit. When I Jeff can't get money, he runs around naked in the house until <laughs> he gets when he money? he little. He did. Streak when around the house? Little. Yeah. Does Jeff ever get a woman? Do you ever see him with a girl? He did. He did. On TV, I saw him once. <laughs> no, come on. I mean, do you ever see him show up at, uh, with a woman? And, uh, His old friend, Rachel. Yeah, but he didn't have sex with her. I don't no. know. No, she's not interested. She's nice. Well, Jeff, we've gotten a glimpse into your family. Yeah, it's fascinating. I was stumped by number one. <laughs> Thank uh, you, Howard. I had fun. Number three, <laughs> you are uh, terrific. And number two, you were terrific. We have um, all of you claiming to be uh, Tracy, of course. Now, Jeff would like to thank DePaula Chevrolet in Albany, New York, for driving him here today. Wow. No, no they didn't drive, they didn't drive us. Big Boy, John drove us. Big John drove us. No, too tall Tom. Oh, too tall Hi, Tom. Tom. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. All right. Too you know. tall Tom. <laughs> what about too for the ladies? Tall, you got a little, Tom. Where, where, no, where's all the money Dubai. from? What? DePaula and Chevrolet. They're a good outfit, dude. <laughs> To so help you me should out get, big time. Don't ever get in a negotiation with him to get him down here. I'm like, I'll put you on a Greyhound. And he's like, I need $200 and I need a plug and I need to tell the driver's name. And I was oh, like, why don't we just stop? I'll just get you here. Gary, stop. Well, stop what? Stop your bitch, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Gary, give me a break. <laughs> I'm a regular guy. I just need two hundred dollars for the plug. We figured out the plug is for the car, the two hundred dollars is for the beer. Right. <laughs> no, no. The two hundred dollars is for the. Let me ask you something. You're not embarrassed by any of this. Ride. You, you don't want to clean up any of your act whatsoever. You're going to go on the rest of your life like this. You don't want to work. You don't want to do anything. You want to live oh, in the trailer. He's a good worker. I actually, I need another beer. But what does he do? <laughs> if he can get a job with one hand, but, 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 he wait likes a second, hold to on. work. Hold on. There's people. I just stamp a meat in, Gary, okay? <laughs> wait, hold on. There's people who have lost both arms who can work. I mean, the arm thing isn't the reason why Jeff doesn't work. But you got to admit. I'm a good stamper. Didn't Jeff once beat up one of your friends for beer? Oh, that. Camping out, yeah. He beat How, up when did that happen? Long, uh, he was like 15. <laughs> oh, 15, yeah. This was before the accident. Everybody was fighting for the beer, not me, yeah. but we were watching. So we couldn't blame that one on the accident. <laughs> no. Yeah. Do you I feel you want to? Do you feel? Somebody. Do you feel you want to die? Is that what's going? on? He just whipped out another beer. <laughs> He's got one on him. Yeah, he yeah. had a beer on him. Oh, yeah. Dear. Yeah. It's too early. To you be know what the funny thing is? He can't work with one arm, but he can open that beer with one hand. I can open the beer, bitch. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of people who are handicapped who work. I mean, a person with one arm can work. What? Well, that's what he needs to. Explore. Explore? It's been five well, years when he stops <laughs> drinking, maybe he will. Right after I'm done exploring the beach with aged of Bud <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it, Artie. Artie, I'll see you this weekend. Yeah, well, I, I've met Tracy before. I couldn't believe how nice she was. I met her at a gig yeah, you, in you, Albany. You seem very nice. All three sisters seem very, oh, yeah, very nice. Yeah, Artie, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Can I say one thing, Artie? Say whatever you want. It's your of time. she's going to. Artie, you said yesterday... Hey, come on, give me a call. How can I figure call you, dude? Get the hint yet, Jeff, or what? <laughs> What's up with that? Already switched his cell phone, but didn't tell Jeff. Oh, yeah. great. He said, said that hey, so Kuro, you know. Give me a call. No, I didn't. I said, let me know. You can call here. Artie, are you going to give him the new cell phone number? <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Oh. Uh, I can't, Jeff. Uh, I just, you understand, buddy. I just, you know. I know. 
I gotta, like, come on, dude. How did you get a cell phone? We're no, buddies. I don't know. It's not a cell phone. It's my voicemail at home. Oh, and you, I th- oh, you switched the number? Oh, I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. It's my home number. Oh. I had switched it. I, I, I had a gig Jim, up in Buffalo. Blame me. Howard, blame I'm not me. blaming you, Jeff. You're a good guy. Buddy. Artie gave Jeff the number when Artie was drunker than Jeff. Wow. Oh. That's what happened. <laughs> no, Is that why you changed it? Because you gave you it to Jeff? You called me from here, asswipe. Je- no, oh. not specifically because of Jeff, no. No. But he gives Thank it to every one right. of the whack packers. Yeah. I, for a little while, I thought maybe it'd be funny if they left me some voicemails, and I got some material from the show from it. But then it started to be a little too much. Who was calling, like, beside Jeff? High pitch. Hmm. Marianne? I never Marianne No, gonna... she never called. Well, she would, I get, con- well, you'd conference her in, though. I'd get 10 minute <laughs> messages. <laughs> Jeff, I high pitch, and, and, and twice. Marianne, and she did not be here call me today. <laughs> So what are you trying no, to do? With like, her, I called her twice. Right. So you're gonna now, after changing your number, give him the number again? Probably not. No, for a little while. I got. I just got to keep it low. See, I think Artie's Fine. gonna break down. I think in, within four months, I think Artie will have a couple of drinks and he'll, uh, Jeff will wear you down. How this weekend, I get, weekend, get I, all of them this weekend. This weekend, I'm gonna see I him at my gig. I need the freaking number not. now. Why? <laughs> why, why do you? you need it now? Why do you want his number? No, because those people at the edge, they hate me. Okay? What? And you know why they hate me? At the radio station? Yeah, at the ads. Yeah, why they do they hate, hate you? I know why they because hate you. Because you're annoying. I never advertised for no, them no. on the Howard Stern I, Show. Howard, I can tell you. So here, hey, everyone, here's my advertisement for the freaking ads. <laughs> you can kiss the edge of my ass. <laughs> How's that for a freaking plug? Right, here's what goes on. Asshole. What's going on? Oh okay, God. the guys. I was talking to the guys from the edge. I was up at Albany. <laughs> Great group of guys. Yeah. Jeff shows up to a lot of the events. Sometimes he'll show up with like six or ten people, and he pulls a star thing. He wants to be. Right up front, he wants to be in the VIP area. He wants uh, free drinks for he everyone. He takes over. He takes oh, over. Yeah, I want to be a big freaking whoop. <laughs> Who would be six or <laughs> seven people? I'm a freaking star. Whoever he gets to drive him. Big night. deal. You're where a- freaking where? Oh, hey. oh, listen to you. What did he say? He said, where f- freaking where? where? No, he said, freaking f- where? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't hear the F word. I thought I said that. No, me freaking. neither. All right. What's up with that, Howard? I don't know. We're so buddies. you're you're saying you're a big star, and if you ask for a beer, someone owes it to you. Big deal. Mm-hmm. But here's the problem. I beer. can't get a beer. Yeah, but here's the thing. <laughs> and he shows up to stuff. Like, it's one thing if they asked him to come, but he shows up uninvited. Right. And then wants the whole red carpet rolled out. You know, Artie, you shouldn't be allowed to change your number. If you're going to keep giving it to Jeff, the phone company at some point should say to you, you're irresponsible. You keep giving your phone I number. I gave it to him one time. You gotta do it again. I kept it for a year. Well, I keep. I, I, was somebody, I was talking to somebody the other day, Come and they on. said that Artie does change his phone number all the time. Well, that's guys. I have other issues about. That. <laughs> what do you mean? What are the other issues? <laughs> what? <laughs> what would you? I was keeping on the down ga- low. With gambling? I mean, I got some old friends that maybe I don't want to see. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now the truth comes out. Yeah, I just said, Jeff, you shouldn't take it personally. But look at you. You want my number now. Why? So you can call me ten times before Albany Saturday? <laughs> Why do you want it now? <laughs> I really need those Yankee tickets. I, 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 that's the other uh, thing. I gave him. I have four. Dude, why are you having so much contact with him and giving him t- Yankee tickets? Because I feel bad for the guy. He wanted my Yankee tickets. I just gave him Yankee tickets. They're, they're great seats. What if he goes to the Yankee game and screws well, up and you get your tickets suspended? First of all, I, we, never get I, heard, I heard you did get a little crazy at the game. Is that true? I was there. Right. Well, what happened? Did anything happen? I didn't sell him. Oh, he was, what? What Party. happened? What did you hear? No, I just heard he was. Call me and I'll Oh, he call sold him. his tickets. What did, what, did it, what did he? At first, I thought he sold them on me, yeah. which would have been a low-life move. But no, he didn't do that. I didn't do that. He didn't do that, but I just. And no, I didn't do anything bad. I heard from people who sit around me that he was. Out of control. A little oh, drunk and loud. Well, what'd you expect? Yeah, but I mean, what, but why so am I at the game. I'm a but you were, you were all expect? right. I mean, I, I, He's I, a drunk. <laughs> that's what, what I, he expects. He's Jeff asshole. the drunk. <laughs> but, 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 but here's another thing. Like, oh. So listen how mad he is at me. Like what I expect. I gave you my tickets to be nice, you know. But why would you give him your home phone number? Because I was drunk at the time. And Are you going to give it to him again? Maybe. The yeah, goal is why not would you do that? The goal is not to. But you'll be drunk Saturday but night you after the second show. What? 
I said he'll be drunk Saturday night after the second show. <laughs> like, and here's what, here's what happens. Hey, wait, hold on. True Yankee fan. Artie and Jeff go to the bar. He's calling me. L- last time they Call did, me up, dude. Last time they did this, did, what did it cost you, Artie? How much did he get you for the pool game? Five hundred. Five hundred bucks. <laughs> he, got, he had to give Jeff five hundred bucks. Am I the worst gambler ever? I lost five hundred dollars to a one-armed guy in pool. <laughs> Vinny Favalli, you're on the air. Howard, for the past like five months, Jeff has got into the habit of calling me every afternoon. At oh. the office. You love it. Come on. I baby. actually, you know what? I do. It's a, he knows how to get off the call. It's a quick chat, but he gives me updates on his bowling scores and what he's where he's going to drink that night. Wow. You give me the bowling scores from last night. Does Vinny work? <laughs> what? <laughs> Howard, he calls me one afternoon, right? And the UPS guy just delivered their new Trimline phone, and you just hear him yelling with his mom the whole time about, "I'm opening the phone. I'm opening the phone." All right. Well, I've had so much fun visiting with Jeff the drunk. I can't tell you. And uh, do, do we have some sort of prizes for everyone? What happened to all that money we had yesterday? We gave it all away. Oh. That was the end of the money. But there was a whole oh bunch of uh, more money. God. Damn it! No, we don't, that was it. But we can give, you know what we can give them? <laughs> Just my effing luck. Oh, wait a second. Here's uh, Tom Chiasano saving the day. No, no, no. Actually, I came, you know, Jeff called me to ask me if I was where the invitation was to Tim's party. Oh, oh, oh. no. Yeah, I heard over bar. <laughs> you really want to? I've been there, right, dude? Do you really want to go to a party you're not invited to? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't matter. I almost <laughs> go exclusively to parties I know I hate hey, to go to. Hey, Tom. Tom, you're looking at my guest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Artie's guest, bitch. We'll serve then. You be served you? outside the door. <laughs> All right, let's. Where's the salmon a la mode? You were saying that there was something we could give the ladies and uh, perhaps uh, Jeff the drunk. What did you have in mind? I have uh, always have stuff from Steven Singer Jewelers in Philadelphia. Oh, Watches and Steven jewelry. Steven Singer Jewelers is the best. On the corner of Eighth and Walnut. Eighth and Walnut in Philly, you got to get over there. Maybe the ladies, we could all give you something from yeah. uh, Stephen Singer Jewelers, which I that think would, would be nice. nice. Like a Tag Heuer or a Movado watch or yeah. something like that. Some classy that stuff. <laughs> yeah, that works for you, right? Jeff, I see, sure. you don't, I see you don't wear a watch. Would you like one? Um, you don't care what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what difference does it make, the time? I'm going to lose There's it no anyway. T- hey, right? look, it's time to drink again. <laughs> it's beer o'clock. <laughs> it's beer o'clock, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It's beer o'clock and weed 30. <laughs> it's beer 30, bitch. Well, there you go. That's quite a life. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And, I uh, still can't believe Carol beat me for $500 in pool. <laughs> I'm telling you, this was at a bar full of people after a gig so in Albany. Excited. And it's happening again this Friday. So, Howard, we play eight ball, right? Yes. I, I run the table. Right. Run it. Right. Caro g- gets up, he makes like two balls in. I get up there, I call a bang shot on the eight. It, it hits off the one side, goes in the wrong pot. Well, that's why I hate eight ball. Yeah. Right. Because if you can't, if you if you're good and you get all your balls in, the other douchebags balls block your exactly. Eight. Well, I'm pool gonna is, whoop you this Friday. The greatest sucker bet ever at a bar uh, is to tell a guy we'll play eight ball and you could put four of your balls in already. Right. That's the greatest sucker bet ever because then you got clean shots. Right. Well, all right. Anyway, Jeff, uh, thank you for coming by today. This was a fun game. Uh, congratulations to Robin and Gary, who recognized number one. <laughs> and were able to pick out, out of the other two, who was Jeff's sister. Hey, we did have to pick from two. Tracy, thank you. And ladies, no thank problem. you for doing such a great job. What's up? They all know who your sister was. They all know. Yeah. Right, right there. So, what do you think gave it away? Why do you think they all picked Because the they right knew girl? the actress, and she, she was quiet. And I was Whoa. Normal. <laughs> now, Jeff, how do you feel about your sister telling stories about you? It's all okay, dude. He says Stuff whatever. Stuff happens. <laughs> Stuff happens. Now, now, now what's, what's your name, Tracy? Yep. Now, how do you feel about your brother coming on the show and always being loaded? Me too. Things like that. That's his thing, not mine. I have family. I take care of my business. You're back! Right here. Have a fucking yeah, yeah. bag! <laughs> Have you listened to the show when Jeff is on? Uh, yeah, or just wait until he tapes it. Over the phone. And then you get like. Then he phones me and says, listen. Do you cringe at all? Or how do you feel like when Jeff's a little belligerent and crazy on the air? Certain days, but most of the time don't bother me. Right. You proud of yourself, Jeff? I gotta take a piss too. <laughs> <laughs> That's it.